boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Again, and we got another video, Real Tips, coming to you. And with Real Tips, um, essentially what you do is you take the extra meat from a rib when you slice it up how you want. And basically what I did was I took a spare rib, trimmed it up to a perfect rectangle, took all the extra meat, the extra back strap, and all the extra meat that was on top, chop it up real fine, and make it finger food. Call it Real Tips, right? A lot of people don't know when you go to places like Sony's, Sony's barbecue, places like that, you say, let me get a slab of ribs. You get in St. Louis, maybe even a little less than a St. Louis cut, and they taking all the extra meat and selling it to somebody else's a rib tip plate. Think about it. You pay you pay for somebody else to eat free. But anyway, um today, I'm not gonna give you my seasoning. Actually, I'll give you one of them. I'm just gonna post it in the comments just one of them just one of the seasons you're gonna ask me why i use this season but if you ever used it you know it going everything so stay tuned we'll be back with these real tips y'all it's fourth of july weekend and i'm getting these videos to y'all stay tuned all right family and friends we are back i got these uh pork tips as i call them that basically is just the extra off the spare rib i'm gonna show you real quick what i do uh it's quick, maybe uh, 15, I didn't say 15 minutes, but uh, maybe five minute video uh, on what I do. All I'm doing is cutting this. The key is to cut this how thin and how you like it. Some people may hold like the whole piece of meat, but this is finger food, right? This is like when I used to do catering down in Florida, this is probably the cream of the crop because it's the most tender. It doesn't take you know, six hours to cook like ribs do. Um, this is the cream of the crop. Like the men, when they sitting over and they just, you know, running their mouth. This is what we nibble on. So you, you take this and you cut it into, like I said, bite-sized pieces. And then, um, and then go from there. So, uh, stay tuned. I'm actually show you when I put it on the grill too, tomorrow. But I'm going to fast forward this so you don't have to sit, me, sit here and watch me cutting it. So stay tuned, y'all. Back y'all barbecues and barbecuettes. We are back. I am finished. Keep in mind, this is three spare ribs cut up. It's not even the rib whatsoever. That's everything we trimmed. This is all the tender meat, no bones. Um, what I did was I took a bag. I'm going to freeze that. That's for a later date. Um, good cooking. This is part of the bone too. So, like, if I'm just cooking for, the, you know, my household or whatever, I can take these three and put them on, on the grill and smoke them at a later date. But these going to be finger food, y'all. Finger food, right? Uh, typically what I do is, I used to soak them in, I'll go ahead and give you my secret, apple juice, um, and just let them sit overnight just to soak in some flavor. Of course, you season them too. And you're really seasoning the apple juice as well, which is kind of crazy. But it sits in there. You just soak it overnight just to get a flavor. You can use any flavor you want. Pork is friendly. Um, use something strong with uh, acidity into it. Uh, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, something like that to give a flavor. And you don't even have to waste your seasoning like that. You can soak them in something and then come back the next day and spritz them. Um, but for me, I'm just going to, like I said, cinnamon apple juice and then come back in the morning with some seasoning on there and take them off, put them on the grill. Uh, real simple. But like I said, man, this is, oh uh, man, this is like the limousine of meat. Um, a delicacy. Um, brisket, you know, as a whole, of course, you, you can't be brisket, but that's 12 hours. This is about two hours, two and a half hours of good smoke, and you're sitting there when the men drinking, and uh, we're having a good time, and people just nibbling. Probably probably get full. Don't say this too loud. Probably get full before even dinner time or barbecue time. Anyway, stay tuned, y'all.
Welcome back, Barbecues and Barbecue S, man. It's your boy, Mr. B. I got right here rib tips. Keep in mind, this is what I cut off of the uh, spare ribs. And uh, I trimmed everything up. And you see the bone? All I'm doing is sticking them on here. Oh, let me show you this real quick. I got these mats. Uh, my lady bought me uh, to put on the grill. Uh, we're going to try them out and see how they work. I'll put them below in the in the in the uh, remark section, and all we're gonna do is just sit these on there. Keep in mind these rib tips. It's gonna take about three hours. I got it at about 350. Uh, I'm doing them early because what I'm gonna do is a lot of times we call it sitting in RG. I'm gonna uh, probably wrap them up maybe at the two hour mark. Uh, put them in apple juice and just let them sit there, and probably put them back on on the on the smoker. Just depends on how I feel. There's plenty of ways to do it, um, but sitting in that, that juice tender in their own flavor is awesome. So we're going to let this do what it do. So right now, currently, stay tuned for that. These separate videos with the ribs, uh, the spare ribs that I cut up, the the beef tenders, uh, beef fingers or whatever. And then, like I said, this right here, the video you're watching now, the uh, fingertips, which is the extra meat from the ribs. So, I'm gonna close that and let it run for the next uh, probably hour and a half before I check it, and then uh, go from there. Oh, guess what? Look what your boy dropped. Damn! Ain't that about a filling the blank? Put in the trash real quick. Um, uh, that's what happens when you're in the backyard barbecue, y'all. People don't see that on them other videos. All you see is succulent flavor and somebody in, in a nice crisp white shirt that never get dirty man this your boy man if it fall on the ground you're lucky i'll do the five second rule i got a couple coins so I, I you know i put it in the trash but back in the day when i was broke man we used to watch that thing off that's that's generational differences and i right, we can go on forever about that but anyway stay tuned y'all like i said uh we're gonna go and then just stay tuned hey look out for all these videos i'm pumping all of them I think I may pump three or five five videos. One being the one you're looking at now, the uh, rib tips. Uh, the ribs, it's 4th of July. I mean, 3rd of July. Uh, the ribs, the rib tips. Um, the beef strips, or beef fingers as they call them. Um, I got one on this loft right here, um, which has already been an epic failure. Um, I ain't got my hat on, so stay tuned for that video. They might redeem themselves with this grill right here. The blue, blue, blue bandit. I don't, I don't have a name yet, but uh, we're gonna try that out. And then, uh, oh, my ice maker. So we're gonna see what that do. So I'm gonna go plug that up, and we're gonna create a video on that and see what they do. Get them a review, either good or bad. And uh, we're gonna go from there, y'all. So stay tuned. You're gonna see three to five videos, uh, maybe tomorrow. Stay tuned, y'all. What's up, y'all? Backyard barbecues and barbecue. Yes, we are back. Um, I just want y'all to see the rip tips real quick right i got him on this little mat and this little mat is doing his thing look at that mm -hmm. this is the spare rib the other part of the spare rib uh that i call a rib tip it's really like cooking a big rib though yep and going from there so i'm just flipping those i move them i'm adjusting these as we speak and then going from there yep so Stay tuned. I hope y'all are uh, having an awesome 4th of July. And we'll see y'all. Stay tuned for these four or five videos tomorrow. Hey, you have it, y'all. Um, another event for day with these rib tips. Uh, comment below if you, 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 you got a better way to make them. You got a different way to make some RG. Um, or a different flavor. I'm always in the business of creating something else and putting it in my arsenal. Um, just because I feel like nobody is uh, better than the other person at cooking. You just made me have more experience. So teach me something I don't already know because at the end of the day, you're going to help me become a better cook. So comment below. Like I said, if you got a better way to make rib tips, I will try it. As long as I don't get too many at one time, I will try it next time I cook some ribs because I got some extra from these three slabs sitting in my freezer right now. Um, but yeah, I appreciate y'all watching my video. 
It's your boy, Mr. Beach, from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm flooding your timeline with all these videos. Stay on the lookout for YouTube, Facebook, um, Backyard Barbecue, and Instagram. I don't do Twitter. That's too much work. But those three right there, you can definitely count on me posting pictures more often, more frequently. Stay tuned for a website coming. I'm coming back at you. So stay tuned, y'all. We got big things coming this year.